Cancerians, hi. Uh, all right, hello, Cancerians. Welcome into my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Today, I'm doing a reading for you to see what's going on in your love life, past, future, present. So, we're about to get started, right? Hmm. I'm not doing reversals, but con I'm considering the reversals, but not predominantly focusing on reversal energy today. The sun, amazing energy. So this is how you feel, Cancerian. Starting over, looking forward to a brand new life. I feel like you have released burdens, like it's, you have birthed into a new world and you're ready to go forth, to create, to produce, to find happiness, to be fruitful. To be strong be powerful vibrant so this is how you're feeling right now powerful vibrant feeling youthful feeling as if i just feel like a breath like a baby has been born just that feeling of coming out into the world a flower being a, a plant bursting out of the earth that kind of energy brand new happiness like a thrill and enthusiasm excitement for this life as if wow i've just arrived on this planet and i'm about to really explore so something is happening the light is coming into your life maybe secrets have been revealed to you um truths have been uncovered and it's kind of releasing freeing you for some cancer and so you feel very good i feel like you feel brand new like your heart is opening up the sun is shining on you hmm the six of cups i feel like you feel internal happiness here with yourself love inside and outside and you're reflecting this love you're reflecting this love into the outer world the way how you're talking to people the way how you are giving even receiving so i feel like there's a balance in giving and receiving love i feel like cancer and you feel very worthy of love in this time very worthy of a true love a true heart connection i feel like you're ready you could be connecting with a water sign or an earth sign here a vibrant energy so this could be a love in your life, another person, or this could just be you and how you're feeling about yourself, Cancerian. This could be you reminiscing on past happiness, past relationships, past love affairs. Maybe something, a relationship from when you were younger, Cancerian, and no, you may be thinking about it, or maybe wanting to move past it, or move into that situation where you feel this love connect. I feel like it is a past energy of real love, of soul to soul connection. Cancerian, we have the Four of Swords. Hmm. I feel like you're settling down in your heart space here, contemplating moving forward. I feel like this is you grounding yourself to be more confident, more secure, more stable, could be financially stable, could be stable in love, in marriage, in, in relationship with your friends, with family members. So I feel like you're really, it could be you even reflecting on this past happiness in order to bring it into your life. But I do, I believe that some of you Cancerians um, are really diving internally. And it is important to establish this boundary within yourself so that you can be ready for the next step ahead of you. And I feel like some people need to be clear about how they're feeling inside, not really focusing externally, not really, really have feeling like you have to talk about your feelings with everyone, but just being composed, right? I feel like you're working on composing your emotional stability, your balance in self, your ideas, your thoughts, focusing on your dream life, what you wish to bring into fruition here. You're really taking this time to really relax, meditate, to dream. Even to give thanks, to heal, to even to heal yourself. Taking this time to, to appreciate what you have. To appreciate all the gifts coming into you. 
from the universe and from people around you. Appreciate this new life and even and being prepared for for the journey ahead of you. I feel like this is a something I feel like it is something huge that like you have to really prepare for this life ahead. Hmm. Another cups card here. I feel Cancerian as if you want to move you want to be with friends right now, like family, friends, like m most of you probably have been alone doing your own soul searching. I feel like maybe you want to move, um, drift into more connection with friends and family, have heart to heart relationships with people that you love, laugh more, be joyous, listen to people, just welcome in beautiful connections, healing, healing from your environment, healing from the energies of nature, the moon, water, the sun, the air, being refreshed, taken into this brand new life, wanting to share your joy and happiness with others, just wanting to be vibe, just wanting to be in the presence as if standing in the presence of the sun and being living. So I feel like you're ready to be out there living your life. Um, working with other people, communicating well. So maybe for some of you, your relationship or relationships have been on pause while you soul search while you decide uh, um, to move out of being alone, moving back out of your shell, because maybe you have been inside of your shell, locking off relationships, connections, intimacy, and really soul searching. But I feel like now you're ready to emerge and go and um, go ahead connecting with others in your life. Yes, like you, you are looking for joy and laughter to be around friends, your your family um just ready i feel like you're ready you're you're ready up to um go start a business just to to live your life can syrian or for some of you this could be ready to move into a brand new relationship maybe going back in the past to be with this person that you're reminiscing about so you have water and air sign here Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have a little bit of air sign. I'm wondering if um the reason why you went into contemplation mode with the Four of Swords, if it was done unto you as an infliction um caused by someone else in a relationship, probably this person, a water sign or an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that I maybe offered you their love and took it back from you and it made you feel like you had to go into a place of solace, solitude in yourself, walking away from relationships for a minute and maybe going, not really getting into intimate relationships but more focusing on a broader scale, family and friends. Maybe this person offered their love to someone else, maybe this Maybe you're having children with this person. So for some of you, you could be having um, having children or have you could have children with this person. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. All right, Queen of Cups, here you are showing up in your reading, Cancer, and I feel like you're really diving into yourself. Maybe moving, I feel like maybe moving out of reacting so much, being so reactive to external situations and just finding finding comfort in yourself so i feel like you're moving from reacting moving into calmer waters moving into loving yourself and caring for who you are 
you could be connecting with a fellow water sign here or leaving a water sign behind or it is a water sign that you are reminiscing about from your past energy in relationship so that is your past um i feel like the world card wow dream big amazing energy the world is in front the world like there's so much ahead as like what i was saying with the sun card here i feel as if you just burst out into this brand new life a brand new world and you're ready to explore as if you're free some of you may have just left a relationship or is contemplating leaving a relationship turning your back on certain attachments that you have attachments to ideas of what a relationship should bring for you maybe now depending on yourself your emotion your intuitive guidance your own strength your own willpower to succeed to move forward you have the strength you have you have a lot of love in your life a lot um, of external love from the universe I feel so tap into that guidance force this could be someone this could be you leaving someone behind but with the world card I see promises I see wish fulfillment I see brand new life I see you just it's as if you are so brand new cancer and that is the energy maybe you're about to start traveling far and wide that's how I feel traveling for work I also feel using your true essence in work so maybe you're traveling to speak or you're traveling to heal you're just going across the globe I feel like for some people relationship is on the back burner and they're looking forward to really living their lives fully expressing healing being there for other people Pause. being there for others the world card amazing transformation and I feel like once you really begin to be, put yourself out there then blessings will flow to you I feel like then you will attract love that you're not even looking for really people are just gonna see you looking beautiful feeling gorgeous and may want to just come into you for that reason just because you're not looking for it you're on your own journey of fulfillment in heart you could know what it is that you want a person that is always on your mind I feel like this person is also good for you but maybe they're not available to you right now and so you're taking time to really just move around travel and experience life and to give of yourself to be of service oh my goodness wow abundance i feel like you feel like this is a gift coming into you so this the ace of pentacles inheritances new beginnings of wealth look at all that is coming into your world you the world the ace of pentacles and this is you really establishing your boundaries establishing the life that you want to live and it's like a reward coming into your world for you here and i love it so much financial stability in regards to relationship it could be someone coming into your world can because look at this could be someone looking at you see that ready to come into your life here to be with you this person could be coming from far and wide to offer their love to you here right maybe you don't even see this coming because you're so focused on maybe work on being alone and being single and feeling full of fulfilling your heart's desires on your own without an individual there to do that for you this person could be coming with financial abundance just blessings prosperity just taking that into your world so it doesn't have to be a person it could be just a situation that comes into your world that brings prosperity financial abundance it's, it's amazing and i see this is a lot of abundance like plentiful your life will be changed completely changed like like you'll be able to live a life now that you've always dreamed of that's how it feels coming into your world okay wow maybe for some of you you feel trapped you feel like you want to move but you don't know where to start where to look how to even 
but in that direction but there's a blessing coming into you it could be finances that's keeping you in this relationship uh, maybe financial financially depending on someone else and it's keeping you stuck in this relationship not knowing how to move house how to find another place of stability okay so something is all coming to you that's going to allow you. I feel like it's allow it's allowing you to move forward to feel it's as if a gush of wind blew and you're like, oh, I'm not alone. Something in that in that respect where you're being reminded that the universe is on your side. So be open to receiving as much as you feel bound in a situation trapped. Maybe you don't know how to, where to turn, how to move, what to do. You feel insecure. You feel uncertain. You feel like a prisoner. I feel like there's hope because there's emo your emotions are still present in you. Your intuition. There could be influences around you from a water sign that is really guiding you, helping you. This water sign could also be yourself, but it could be another water sign. That is reaching into your emotions because water signs know how to connect to emotions. And maybe you, what you need is a real emotional connection. Someone who can understand you, why you feel trapped, why you feel like you're not moving forward, why you feel like you're not prospering, why you feel like you can't make decisions, why you're stuck in your head right now. A water sign could be able to understand you, is able to hold you. These cards look so beautiful to me. It's able to hold you and to nurture you and to say, hey, take this next step. I feel like it. Follow this direction. So you see the water running at her feet here? That could be words of encouragement coming from another source. That could be blessings in abundance coming from someone just trickling into your life. So as much as you feel trapped, there's hope. There's a reminder of life present around you. Yes, this situation looks barren, doesn't it? But there's water. Look at her feet. Her feet are touching in the water here like she has a taste for life still. And that's for some of you that want to just take off and soar into the brand new, into brand new life. Hmm. I feel like some people want to move but they don't know how to yet. But there's something coming in that's going to cause you to have that strength. The willpower to and it takes willpower sometimes to move you know you feel stuck but maybe you just don't have the will right now something has injured your sense of strength your confidence but I feel wow this could be confidence sense of self-worth your innate sense of self-worth your dignity and I feel like that's what maybe some of you are really meditating on right now to move forward your sense of self-worth is rising up in you for you to decide what kind of life you want for yourself. Because if you're not comfortable here, you feel trapped. That means there's something other that you want. You want to experience the opposite of feeling trapped. You want to experience freedom. I feel like this freedom could be a gift of traveling the world, traveling the, bringing your intuitiveness, your caringness, your nurture. Maybe you're going, to, your nurturing um, abilities. Maybe you're going to be working with children for some of you, traveling the world, working with children, and this is going to actually make you feel valuable. So there might be an opportunity coming in for you to free up. So t I feel like take this opportunity because it is fully blessed. It is fully aligned for you. Hmm. Maybe you feel like uh, someone is winning over you or you feel like the outcome of your life might not be so prosperous, may not be so successful. So I feel like you could be really dreading not living up to your full self, your true self, not mastering your destiny. But at the end of the day, the card does signify you mastering of it, your destiny. You being on top of your game. You taking the horse by the reins and moving forward. Using your divine, your innate intuition to move you forward into greatness, into leadership roles in your life. Because I feel like you can do it. And I, this delusion that you're living in in this relationship is... Is about to break it's about to crumble because something brand new is coming into your world an offering of love prosperity flourishing coming through to you 
So this offering could be coming in on the box of a water sign. I see fire sign here as well. So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So just look out for guidance from around the world for you. I feel like it's beautiful. Yes, this is wish fulfillment here. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So that is the, I feel like the outcome is that you'll get your wish. Your desires are manifesting. I feel like saying just continue being strong, Cancerian. I wanted this to be I, this to be a relationship reading, but it's not really talking about your person. It's mainly focusing on you. Notice only one card up here we have with another person, and that's probably a past energy for some of you, right? For others of you, it could be present energy. You could be in a real love connection with someone who reflects how you feel about yourself, who is able to hold you. Someone maybe you're contemplating starting a family in with or maybe moving on from this relationship, right? But I feel like something unexpected if you're single or even if you're in a relationship looking to move forward or not, there's something coming into you that's coming into your world that will help you to feel freer, help you to feel like you're living up to your purpose more, feeling more aligned, more being of service. It's like your divine wish coming through here. You have a lot to be thankful for plenty plenty gifts and the bottom of the deck we have the empress card here you living you living representing your true self i feel like this is actually when you're out there working you're financially stable you're taking care of yourself you're emotionally stable as well looking beautiful and this may be when a love offer comes into you a love offer someone deciding to come toward you this could be an earth sign or a water sign here. So two water signs or a water sign and an earth sign along with you, Ken Syrian. All right, I want to see. Maybe for some of you, you're leaving an earth sign behind. This is the king of wands. This is someone who I feel is I'm often looking for this word. There's a lot of passion and desire in this person. This is a person. Let us just be straight. I think that this is a, this is the kind of man that thinks with his his unit, his device, his tool, as if all his thought, his consciousness, has developed, has gone into his tool, and that's what rules his his life. I feel. I feel like maybe you're leaving that behind. That kind of an energy. And taking what you have learned from this situation forward. Probably you've learned nothing of benefit maybe for some of you. But you're just taking your grace. Your higher sense of intuition. The lessons that you have learned. Your groundedness. Something that's grounded you, made you stable. Moving on into the new financial prosperity. Love, abundance, joy in your life. Any other messages come out for Cancerians please? Give me other messages for Cancerians. Messages for Cancerians, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for healing and well being. Cancer, you are looking good. I'm going to do a reading about your person here. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> wow! I did say your part, right? We don't want to get into that, but you're leaving it behind. This person may have involved you in a really in um, a three third party relationship. You know, maybe that's what it's looking like. A third party relation. You wow! I feel like you know this. You know that this is the type of person that you are dealing with. You're able to look. I feel like looking into that thing. Um, I feel like you're able to use your intuition, your knowing. Things come to you. Maybe you're paying too much attention to what is going on over here because you are facing this direction, trying to uncover through truths, um, what's going on. It's been a bird. You see now, so I want you to turn around the walling you over here. Don't be bound by situations that are not good for you. By um, th Let me get the card. It fell. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. 
don't keep yourself trapped with people that do things like this to you this is a third party energy a love affair this could be said that your person celebrating with other people doing things behind your back and you're sitting alone like looking at what is going on oh, seeing things maybe looking at your your phone seeing what's going on what they're doing but this person is not this person has probably blocked you and is looking to other people this could be an earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Any other messages? The Cancerian. Why is Cancer looking in that direction and not at the fullness of their life? Cancerian, what are you looking at? Cancer's person. Any other messages about Cancer's person? Any other messages about. Wow. Messages about your person. Hmm. Something is coming. This is the end between an earth sign and a water sign. It's coming to an end. I feel like you know this. I feel sad about it actually. Like you do feel hurt. So even though you have this brand new life here to live. This opportunity coming into you of travel. Of being free. Of moving. Of serving. Of serving on a great scale. Serving the planet. I believe that you have that potential. You're still looking at what you have lost here are looking for the new beginning to come into your life i think you're ready to move forward but you're still like looking at that and it, or this could this could be that the situation between the situation that your person was involved in outside of your relationship has come to an end so your person could have been dealing with a water another water sign and they somehow like put up a block toward you and you're sitting there all right let's continue any other messages for cancerians what should cancers do <laughs> wheel of fortune cancerian that's what you should do look at your blessings look at what you have to be thankful for um i feel focused All right, the Emperor clarifies the Devil card. This person that you're dealing with could definitely be an Earth sign and they are very manipulative in your life. These cards for your person's energy, I got the Devil card, the Three of Pentacles, the Emperor. This person is manipulative, probably using money. That Maybe that is their only means of feeling powerful here. Maybe this person has their own business, but they're... Oh, they're very manipulative in your life. It is that energy of feeling bound and stuck, trapped by this person. Could be an earth sign. Could be Virgo because at the bottom of the deck we have the Hermit card, which is a Virgo card. But this person is of a, a devilish, devilish energy in your life. So if you're not moving forward, you're not prospering right now, Cancerians, you feel trapped. I feel like you're just stuck looking at what another person is doing. I need you, I need you to chop that soul tie chop it off i don't know that's that's how i feel that's the energy i feel like will save you from being this and being this stuck looking at what another person is doing over here this is just let me tell you something this is just another person no one can take your value your self-worth no one can give that to you and take that away from you it is really up to you to make a decision and say this is just another person another individual who has no right or even the capability to take something away from you you may feel like you're in this manipulative energy people do this because they too feel inferior beneath this big red gown there's nothing there's nothing but there there's balance coming into your life something is over with this negative energy over here i feel like it's been done and you keep looking at it for some reason you need to move on cancerian i don't i don't feel like maybe you're not feeling the courage to move on right now the strength the vigor maybe you feel drained maybe this relationship drained you out and so that's why you're in this place of not really moving you're just really contemplating and healing moving toward your destiny moving toward fulfilling your life mission moving toward healing moving toward listening to your own intuition for guidance and those other people around you that are encouraging you F 
focus on what true love really feels like okay focus on what true love really feels like even though you're in this situation i need you to dream i need you to dream to wish to be free to feel free i need you to feel that feeling because this toxic ass energy over here with this player type person who is just i feel like in the play like there's so many lower nature cards over here infidelity just not being stable not being reliable why are you focusing on that if it's not reliable you feel like you can fix it this is the this is a person that's manipulating you because they see they feel like you're weak they feel like they will always always have your attention just try to take that attention away from them and see how they behave just you experience experience experiment with that and see this person only wants to be around you when you feel like you're powerful and you're not giving them the attention that they want to take away from you. Your attention needs to be on your life. Your life path, your journey. Messages for Cancerians going forward, please. What is the outcome? What is the what will be the okay, what will be the result? Hmm. Someone getting the AS blocked or someone coming in to help you to free you from this situation this could be an air sign coming in swiftly to release you this could be the blessing that you're getting from the universe an air sign coming in swiftly to release you from bone bondage it could be a person or it could be a situation that's it's gonna act really swift it's so, like maybe you're going to be blocked like you'll have no other choice but to move on cancerian are you going to wait for that to happen Right, it could be this said same person over here, your your ex person. So this person could be your ex, right? This or you, you know, you could have moved on from the situation already. You could have blocked this person, or this person can still be in, in your life. And this is for some of you that this person is still a part of your life right now, and so that's why you still feel trapped. Any other messages for concern? Please clarify the Ace of Pentacles for me. What is this blessing coming in? The Ace of Pentacles clarification, please. I said the Ace of Pentacles for me. For Cancer's reading in love. Ace of Pentacles. Ace, oh, Ace of Pentacles clarification. Please, Ace of Pentacles clarification. Thank you so much. Hmm. So we have two fire signs aries leo sagittarius mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what is this so there's a brand new beginning of love and prosperity oh it's like what is this a message a, from a passionate message a passion a passion a passion a desire a desire a feeling of a feeling it's going as, as, as if it is a feeling coming into you of you loving on yourself as i said it could be a person or it could be just a feeling that you're getting from a person some situation coming in that's causing you to really decide to move on see that the world is in his hand over here to move into a place where you're more of service any any other clarification for the ace of pentacles this this is what i'm not sure about because for me this is a person that is still very much looking at their sexual desires sexual desires you see that looks like an erect penis oh my gosh i'm um, looking at looking at you looking to come it feels so strange as if you are bound and they are attracted to that as if they may be attracted to <sighs> attracted to an idea I don't like it though it feels toxic Maybe because of the idea I already have of this of this this card. 
a message maybe this is a message from uh, the love affair that was over here maybe this is the person that was involved in the love affair a message from this person coming into you over here bound as if they know about you being bound and stuck and caught up in this energy with this person and then the lover is coming in to offer you what freedom maybe when this person reveals himself to you that is what it will take for you to move to strong up and move on clarify the page of wands please the page of wands energy Ooh. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's an emotional, it's something emotional that's coming into you. As if a tsunami. So this person will be coming in or a message coming through. But it's going to come emotionally where it's going to wash away. As if a tsunami just washed everything down and that is how you become free. Like ideas that you had of holding on. Is going to be banished, washed away because of some messages coming into you, possibly from the the lover, or maybe this is your lover, a lover coming into you, someone desiring you, wanting to be a part of your life, someone that wants to see you take that step forward to live your best life. So it's like that em emotion is going to flood through you. Like the water beneath her feet here. It's going to flood through you. And everything, all the bond, the bandages, the veil over your eyes, the swords. That mean I feel like the hurt, the injury, all of that will wash away. Because as if life will just, a brand new life will come into you like with the sun card over there. You know, as if that tsunami went through and took everything. Maybe So it's not really of your doing what it is. Because it is within the universe. It's, it's like you call it up. But you didn't have the strength to really pull the bandages. And take one step at a time to really go live your life. I just, I feel like an emotion, an emotion came through that washed everything away. And now you have to literally start over. You have to move. Because your survival instincts will kick in. And then you'll go, you, you got to move. Any other messages for Cancerians? King of Page of Wands, Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Page of clarify the Ace of Pentacles or the Page of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, please. I have the um, the um the High Priestess card. Thank you so much an intuition and knowing a secret being revealed unto you an awakening <laughs> could be a Pisces coming into you to that's the water sign over here rushing in your intuition Pisces are known for their intuitive nature very sensitive to energies I feel like you are for your, I feel like even though you're really you're caught up in your person's energy, this crap energy. Look at, can you believe these cards came out together for your person? Huh. You still feel very stable and secure. I feel like you're trusting in your intuition. You know you're going to move forward, but you just don't. As if you're not, you're not clear how yet to move. As if maybe you have to move to a far place, travel, travel across states or cities, parishes. In order to really move and settle maybe you're looking for a home right now so i feel like that is the state you're in i want to see i'm going to probably do another reading to see the outcome of your living situation the eight of swords clarification please please clarify the eight of swords for cancerians clarify the eight of swords for cancerians energy please Will cancers move? Will cancers be free? Where will cancers move to? How will cancers make the decision to move forward? Thank you. How and when and why? The two of wands. The two of wands. Hmm. 
So I feel like the two of ones card here is saying. Let's see. You have to see what you have to be thankful for. See what blessings are around you, what money you have. So just really put yourself together. Use your intuition, use your desire, your passion, your will. Um, look around you, your family members, and see what it will take for you to move forward out of a situation that's keeping you bound. I feel like you will be moving into a place where you feel glorious, you feel good, you, ha you have financial abundance and stability. Okay. Hmm. Clarify the 12 ones card, please. Please to clarify the two of wands. Cancers moving forward. Turning your burdens to light. I feel like you need to find value in yourself. This city, you may be feeling trapped looking at what other people are doing. Because you don't feel like what are you doing every day with your life, Cancerian? You need to see the value in yourself. Look at what you need to be doing with your life. What you have to offer. Eight of two of ones. Please. Clarification. Look what you have to offer. I don't see justice or judgment card here. I don't feel like anyone is coming to save you. I do feel like it is you really tapping into your innate wisdom. Looking for healing. Um, so even while you're bound, you feel uncomfortable. So you're looking for directions forward. So you are asking for help, even without maybe being very vocal about it. So help is coming and it is saying, look for ways to transform your life. F turn your burdens into light. Um, find meaning in the situations. Gather your money together. Really take the action, the step necessary to move forward. Don't feel afraid to move. Don't be stuck. You'll only remain in this situation for a longer period of time. Maybe move back home for some of you. That's what you're reminiscing about. Um, I don't feel like give this person any more of your time and your energy. I feel like if you lay down with dogs, they get fleas. So maybe that is the flea that is left on you. You feeling stuck and bound in a situation. You need to cut soul ties. Heal yourself. How can cancers find healing, well-being? How can cancers change their focus? How can cancers focus better on themselves? What is cancers focus really on? What is cancerian focused on right now in relationships? What's going on? Tell me about cancers person. Seems like you like to talk about cancers personal. Anything else about this person in cancer's life? Hmm. Anything else about cancer moving on, moving forward? What cancers need to do to really move forward? Anything else about moving on? Any other clarifications about moving on, moving forward here? Hmm. I feel like our right, judgment is on the bottom of the deck. Finally, judgment is here. That's what we want. We want you to realize that it's time to move forward. It's time to live your best self. You could be dealing with an older person. Some of you we have the Emperor card. Could be an older man or older female here. This person blocked you, probably embarrassed you. You feel trapped like you're not moving. Even though you're very intuitive and blessed, I feel like you're a very powerful person, Cancerian. We have powerful cards out here, but you do feel stuck. The judgment is here. Something brand new is coming into your life. Just look out for that. Don't look for things that will give you reasons to stay. Look for things that will really affirm why you should move on. I want to live a better life. I want to feel free. I want to feel loved, honored, respected. I want a, a person I can trust. So look for those things coming into your life and be happy be well that is my advice for you you have a lot of abundance 
you have a lot to be thankful for i feel like your wish is being fulfilled with the nine of cups here this is wish fulfillment coming in for you all right so this phase of you looking at this person won't last for long real love is coming into your life i don't see the ace of cups energy here either but i just feel like this reading is mainly for some cancerians who are in where was or still is presently in a toxic relationship feeling stuck and not being useful not being of service just really giving their too much of their energy and attention to another person that is a very toxic ass individual toxic fucking toxic like i don't like that energy but i got you remember that you're not alone remember my voice i'm here with you for you by you through you and i'm not the only one remember always considering that you can be do have everything and anything in this life that you desire dream big because you are all cancerian all is within you thank you so much for being here and i hope that you find messages that resonate with you along your journey and if you did like this video please subscribe to my channel for future uploads and i will see you next time much love